Show me those bulbs. They are unbelievable. This is from a company called Storesmith, and these are our 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs. So rather than incandescent bulbs, which probably most of you have in your house, which burn up hot. Remember the old days? You could, do you remember the Easy Bake Oven? How did you yeah. bake a cake? With an incandescent bulb, which is insane. Three to 400 degrees. These run cool. We're offering a 20 pack of these. This is a, a, a savings of about $400 a year over regular light bulbs. Because, you know, regular light bulbs are expensive. Okay, and they don't last very long. And they're shat they're, they're, uh, they shatter, they break, they, they bust down there. You know when they blow, sometimes you gotta go in there with a, with a towel and try to take that little thing out oh, of I've the, seen people do it yeah. with a potato. Oh my God, with a potato. You're gonna save hundreds of dollars a year on, on energy savings. I have two different versions of this. I have the bright white and I have the soft white. Um, I personally have the soft white, I like that. They are dimmable. So if you have dimmer switches, do not worry. The cheapo ones from the home stores, more often than not, are not dimmable. They start to flicker when they get down to that low level. These are $18 off today. This is the day to buy them because even when I purchased them, I paid full price. These are clearance priced at $37.22. And these bulbs are going to last you how long are they gonna last? Joe Harrison, everybody. Good morning. 13.7 years, 13 years. This is how long this bulb lasts. For a light bulb. For a light bulb, yep. And it even comes with um, an extended warranty on it too. Normally you don't think about a warranty on a light I bulb. Know. This one does. But normally when you think of a light bulb, it's this little guy here. You shake it and it lasts right, right around a year. This one's gonna last 13.7 years. But the crazy thing is the math and the savings, the energy savings. Because this uses 60 watts to turn the lights on and off. This only uses nine watts to do the exact same thing. So I show you the lamp that's right in front of me. Because when you see these two lights, you're like, okay, I've been buying this thing. It's been costing me a dollar, but I've changed it every single year. I'm buying this new LED. Is it gonna look identical? These are two lamps, identical lamps. You can't see the difference between the two. One is your incandescent, one is your LED. It's not until you pull the shade off that you see that this guy over here is the one, I can't even touch that, it gets Joe, so hot. It is hot. Like if you like, put your hand, yeah, that's, oh yeah. that's burning hot. Bacon brownies with that one and I, the oven. And I got restaurant hands, I got restaurant hands. Yes. That's why that didn't bother <laughs> me so much. I can't do that at all. This one, room temperature. Whatever the temperature of the room is, that's gonna be the temperature of that Joe, bulb. they look the same. They look identical. They are Fill identical. the shade, top to bottom, looks identical. No one will know. But then you look down below. This is where it starts to really save you money. Because that LED light only uses nine watts of power. That incandescent uses 60 watts of power. When you're getting an electric bill, you pay per watt. You don't pay per light bulb. Yeah, so when you the think meter. About, yeah, it's the meter. It just yeah. keeps running. So you'd have to turn on five of these lights to equal the energy using from one, uh, one traditional uh, incandescent. So when you start doing the math, typical house in America guy has 40 lights in it. Yeah. You know, upstairs, you've got them in the all bedroom, over. all I over the place. I got can lights, I got stuff Outside, everywhere. Yeah. If you turn your lights on and off, on the average house with 40 lights, it costs around $500 to turn them on and off if you have the incandescent. When you switch over to LED, it now costs you $100 a year. $400 of savings because you switched over to a light bulb that costs you $1.86. But now here's the crazy math, yeah. $400 a year. How long does it last? 13.7 13 13 years. years. $5,200 of savings over the lifetime because, because you spent a dollar 86 on a light bulb. All right, if you have any questions or anything, we're streaming live on Facebook, everybody. Uh, just go to HSN's Facebook page, and if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. Joe can answer them, but because I know I, I had many questions when I first switched sure. over, which was, and the first bulbs I bought didn't dim, and right. that made me angry because I like lower light. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why, I just, I like this, and by the way, the, I got the soft white instead of the bright. I like that light a little sure. bit better for me, um, a little more subdued because I like that kind of lighting, relaxed. but you have your choice of either and you, and you do get uh, 20 bulbs but if you have any questions go on Facebook I, I tested them out and I was like when, when I got the ones from here and I'm right. like my big question was I don't want them to look different I don't want them to be a different I love that glow mm -hmm. of, of a bulb um, I and I love the fact that they're 60 watt which allows me if I want lower light I can use my dimmer switch yes, you can. but you're gonna get that beautiful beautiful light there's a difference in lighting actually as you see one's more of a white light some people love that I like the softer but but it doesn't matter which one you get you're gonna get that same replicated light that you get from incandescent without spending the money these are on clearance today they're only nine dollars and 30 cents to get them home on flex pay and one of my favorite things too is and i'm telling you with these things it's a plastic you, housing you can't break you drop it, it you're you okay. really i'd have to get with my foot and crush it yes you would and and but these things what do you want to see it where'd it go 
<laughs> it doesn't break, doesn't shatter. It's got that plastic Imagine housing. if it was all shattered in pieces. I'd be like, yeah, don't do that. No, I know because I've done that before. Sure. But, but here's, and I know you have a ton to talk about, but let me tell you really, really quickly. I also, I used to have a best friend of mine who was about this tall. Right. And whenever I'd go to his house when we were kids, I've told you this story before, his <laughs> mother would be fun. like, oh, there's the tall one, come over here. You need to change these right. light bulbs because they, they couldn't reach them even on a ladder. So I'd get up there and I would change right. the bulbs. If you have a, like, especially for seniors out there, like mm -hmm. my mom, when I go to my mom's house, Change the bulbs. bulbs. That's one of the things she asked yeah. me to do. You don't have to, you, but, well, every 13 years, that means I gotta go to my mom's house every 13 years. Exactly, now. near 2042 is the <laughs> next time, or 2032, the next time That's you have to awesome. change these bulbs. This is 13 years worth of incandescent bulbs. This is 13 years of your LED bulb. You buy one bulb today, and then, or you could buy 13 trips back and forth to the hardware store. 13 times you're going up and down that ladder. And when you multiply that by 40 lights in your house, that is a tremendous amount of light bulbs that you're buying. But when you switch over to LED, a typical house has 40 lights in it. It costs around $500 a year to turn your lights on and off. When you switch over to LED, that $500 bill goes down to $100. It's incredible, $400 worth of savings because it uses 80% less energy. But the great thing is you see throughout the entire house, there are different spots you want to use these bulbs. Now, one hand, my hands are identical to one another. The books are identical. The text looks different. This is the bright light, which guy, normally this is more expensive. This is the daylight. So my wife has this on her side of the bathroom when she's putting her makeup on because whatever she looks like under this light is what she's gonna look like outside. We also have this in our crafting room when you're doing your needlepoint. We have these in our kitchen where it's bright, it's easy to see. This is that soft light. This is what those incandescent bulbs have looked like for decades. So we have these sitting next to our nightstand in our living room when we're more relaxed. So I would honestly get, get a spot for both of these because you might want to have these outside of your house too. So if you're turning your lights, you can clearly see what's going on outside where these are gonna be that more relaxed position. But normally the bright daylight is more expensive. Today, they're identical to one another. But there's so many choices when you go, do go out to the store to buy. And that's the problem that we run into. There's so much confusion. Because when you wanna get a 60 watt bulb, it's no longer let me go to the hardware store and buy a 60 watt bulb. It's like, well, why is this one 5,000K? Why is this one 2,700K? There's a 3,000K, there's a 4,000K. There are all these different colors. They're all also all these different designs that are available. These are two LED light bulbs that I picked up. They kind of look like science projects. Yeah. Like why does this one have a yellow dome? They're heavy too. Why is this yeah. one vented? This one actually cost me uh, $20. This one cost me $15. Yours today cost $1.86. And the difference between all three of them, this one lasts, uh, I think it was seven years, 10 years, and this one lasts 13.7 years. It's incredible. It is, you know, I, even my producer Pat just said in my ear, and I, you know, because we, we, we buy this stuff, he's like, that's the best price I've ever, these oh, are absolutely. great, great price. $1.86 per bulb is the lowest price we've ever had on these. Normally mm -hmm. these, listen, normally I always say, hey, spend the $55 because you're gonna save that quick, oh, very, easy. very quickly. Count the number of bulbs that you had in your house and think about how much heat that is adding to your house in the summertime, mm -hmm. okay? Think about that because those little bulbs will burn 300 degrees, okay? Oh, yeah. Easily. If you have 30 or 40 or 50 bulbs, each giving off, 30, uh, you know, uh, uh, 300 degrees, well, what does that one's say? 250 degrees for that one degree. bulb. And, and remember, with the one over here. I'll do the LED. And I will do this too, you'll see. Can you read it? 88. It's 88 degrees. Watch. Easy to grab, easy I'm to hold. holding this, and all it is is warm. Yeah. And I can hold it, it doesn't bother my, it doesn't bother my hands. You all know if you grabbed a light bulb, you ever replace a oh. light bulb and you're sitting there and half the times you, you, know, you break it in addition because you drop it out of your hands, you know how hot this guy is. Fact, you get this the whole lampshade, feel oh, the lampshade. I know, even the metal <laughs> rings hot. get hot but on the outside. I also worry about kids leaving their lights on, you know, because you know what Danny did and a lot of kids do? Right. Baseball hat on top, oh, of, the, baseball on top hat. of the lamp. You also see a lot of lampshade burn. Burns, Sometimes that yeah. gets burned in. Safer so, bulb. Like Guy mentioned, this one we just showed you was 250 degrees. Think about your kitchen. If you have just four lights on in your kitchen, which a lot of us have more than that, yeah. four times 250, that's a thousand degrees, yeah. Guy, in your kitchen. The, the lights are actually creating more heat than your oven. Like your I oven know. doesn't go up to 1,000 degrees, I but know. your light bulbs do. So when you have four or five, six lights on in, in, a, in a room, what's the next thing you do? You go, then crank the AC. Right. Now it's gonna cost me more to run the AC. It, this keeps it nice and cool. And, and, you know, and that's just for your own personal thing, but think about the energy savings for, for 
the country you live in. Oh, yeah. I mean, think about how much wasted energy we waste on light bulbs and leaving lights on. Identical. I mean, I, you know, I've got a 17-year-old who's going to be 18 next week, and I, I, one of the things I probably say to him more than every, every single day is make sure you turn, turn the lights, lights off. off. Yep. I do that all the time, and I have the LED bulbs. I'm buying a set today because I want to get more, and I want to get some for my mom. The last few times I went to my mom's house, and she's probably watching, she's probably like, why don't I have those LED bulbs? <laughs> because she has uh, spotlights, yeah, and they're on the they ceiling. And it's hard for her to change the light bulbs. You don't have to worry about that because you only have to change these bulbs every 13 years. I hope I'm around. That's incredible. I, I know. That's, I hope, it's funny when we get up Can I leave my go. light bulbs to someone else when I'm gone, <laughs> You almost want to take them if you move. You're like, I'm moving. I'm Amazing. taking my bulbs with me. All right. Well, Joe, we were just talking about raising the heat in your house. Right. Joe has got a way coming up in just a bit uh, to be able to cool down your house amazingly. Um, and then, um, but, uh,